on the cards for today. Um, thanks for getting here so early, those of you that have. Um, we've got some fancy pianists rolling in and out of here off the stage today. But um, today, first, we've actually got uh, an artist who's been here a few times, been in some residencies and workshops here with us. So if you could please welcome to the stage, Mo Africa, Amokati, and them cats.
Thank you. That is just an introduction. Um, I come from the northern part of South Africa, and when we enter homesteads, we introduce ourselves before we can even talk to the audience, before we can address Makota. So we, we have introduced ourselves to you. So it's Moafrika wa Mukhati and them cats, and we have some beautiful music for you. I am very grateful today. My set is sponsored by Concert SA and I like to appreciate them so much for making sure that we continue to make music post COVID-19. And thank you to Makotopong Sound Studios for making sure that I keep on writing during the strict COVID-19 lockdowns. Um, I'm much of a talker, but today the music and the poetry will do the talking. Enjoy it.
Bayi alam mo siya mawa. Living home in shackles can never hold space for your freedom. Privilege like rain clouds prevailing always. When the pigmentation is the right color, the structural cumulus will make it rain. Living home in a storm leaves scars of Peter. A map carved on flesh bones for a cartographer. The soil for a compass navigating a return to the mother continent. Stripped, naked, dehumanized. You are living home and never to return. You were made to believe that living home is an omnius. But you, children of my mother, pigmentation disease killing my people like flies in the belly of the ship shit happens when disease found home in your bones kept on look calling out of song drowned my people for profit and I assure you rice beans and speculum or is open mouth people who want to return. Spoon squashed 55 of 600 to make it alive. Separated three inches. Stench of death of a brother, of a sister, left to die on the deck top after being raped by men with whips. the ship shed happens 400 years ago they got away with it 18th century my people have survived the Atlantic to the Caribbean Brazil North America but hey how thick to bleed in their cold when our mother is the sun
sisters over the seas that we are waiting for their homecoming. Ora fasir kupile kabuloko kwui fufile mutwani. We are waiting for their safe return. Garabamu Jane, wedding wana just a para sun kissed. To rebuild Afrika Musadi again. Give her her glory again. Garebabu J, wherever they may be. Fasero Kupile Kabuloko, we are waiting for their safe return. Wherever they may be, under bridges in New York, boardrooms in London. Australia, sweatshops, sweatshops in China, palatable homes in Mumbai, milk factories in New Zealand, I say tell them, tell my brothers and sisters all over the seas that we are waiting for their homecoming, we are waiting for their safe return. to leave longer. Dying out and cold mixing, cold switching and cold forgetting. Is it too great to be tasted by 15 generations after us? Etiquette lurking for the 21st century. How thick our tongues to choke us and slip on. tongue is no longer growing back and what a mission to restitution he desires more and more and more English our mother is gone in vicious circles her children without a home we have lost lineage to her roots Neatly folded her idioms, gathered her proverbs in a donkey cart, she's gone. Hoping that we will soon. But mother loves her language saturated. She says delusions are delusional to our tongues. Mother could not read but wise. 
told me this in a dream. on the page and the night we wanted the page it was long gone she used it the night winter had arrived she was spellbound by smoke ink kissing fire she liked how it sparked mother was wise though could not read and I I am lost of fifth to start to Sunday. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the applause. Um, I tongue lash sometimes and I love it. It's necessary talk that we need to hear, right? Definitely. And one thing that I like to tongue lash about uh, is a sketch of, of femicide in South Africa and across the world, but especially in South Africa. And, you know, to think that we're going to have a lovely Sunday here, by, by the time we, we hug, you know, or, you know, we elbow bump goodbye, there will be about 10 women or children being raped or killed by someone they know. And this piece reflects to that. The city is burning down. Ia swanaga, Ia swanaga. The city is burning down. When the men were burning, their wives' mouth became wood fire. Their huts, a growing dry forest ready to burn beyond recognition. The soil, an accomplice who had too much to drink with petrol the night before. Rebonds are for those ready to breathe again. But we are dead here, in the hands of a lover, part 
patriarchy has cleansed its fists, disguised as an intruder in twilight seats, patriarchy turned a teller the post office. When the men were burned, their wives mouth bathed Khaleesi's dragons, breathe out fire, burning their temples beyond recognition. Autopsy must be wrong. How can a soccer ball do so much harm? Protest at their wives. Their hands are burning chimneys. And there is no smoke without fire. Our hearts bend from both hands, extinguished with their lips. Love reincarnating in fists always. But in this village, love comes wrapped in blankets, warming caskets. Now Thank you so much. Ooh, okay. Uh, I will be playing my second last tune. And I come from, as I mentioned, right now you know that I'm from the northern part, you know, from Limpopo. And there's a genre of music that's sad called Giba. And, you know, uh, you just dance freely. As long as you see the dust coming from the ground, that means that dancing is on point. <laughs> 
And there's a man called Philip Dabano who made that type of form of dance to be quite famous and you know, coming up with a, another genre called Malombo. And I want to play tribute to Philip Dabani. And after that, uh, uh, thereafter, I'll be playing my last tune, also playing another young, young mind who will be playing this afternoon, closing it off, Utandin Duli, a tribute to her uh, called Manduli. Thank you so much.